Hi, I'm Carl Baratz and you're watching We Love Music. Fr. <laughs> Rock and roll is a team game. I don't know. You make it sound like a, it's like a netball or something. Yeah, uh, that's what was the idea. I guess so. I mean, in terms of everybody has to uh, work together. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's about togetherness, yeah. isn't it? That's uh, about being a gang, gang, a team, some yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, Linking together, I suppose. Do you think you're in a team or a gang? Um, so then gang, yeah. yeah. I started writing a solo record and um, it just seemed after a while that the songs I was writing and the things I was trying to say are things that are better to say with a group of people, with a gang who are saying it together. Uh, and so I, know I wanted to, when I took the record on tour, I wanted everyone to, to feel like it was them, it was their record, to have a shared sense of um, purpose and ownership. Yeah, a couple of auditions over at the uh, Hamisham Arms in South London. Um, yeah, two songs, uh, Don't Put Your Feelings and Love Teens. And then one of the tracks off the album, actually. Just a little hidden... Uh, that was a very strange experience. I think it was quite nerve-wracking for me and for everyone. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, not not the auditions, but yeah. there the, were the loads of people wrote emails. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of people didn't even play an instrument, and so they wrote an email, and, you know. But there, there, was some, there, there, there was some um, there was some really amazing, interesting people. Like some people just wanted to write letters, so it was great to sort of read everything. It's very hard because if a thousand people want want to be part of it, and I can only have three, then that's nine hundred ninety-seven no's. You know, I hate doing no's. Look at that. But yeah, it was, it was worth it because I'm really happy with the band we got. No, uh, that's why I got that's why I got up on stage with them. I didn't want it to be like a, you know, like no, it was uh, I wanted to be there and play with them and so sort of see how it felt and get 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 a feeling. Um, yeah, I mean, inevitably there are some comparisons and parallels mm. in, in, in its auditions, but yeah, you know, I was glad when it was over. And this this album was a bit more political, not in a not not in a sort of preachy way, just in a reflective way of of how, how I feel about the times. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess if it's gone towards the class, it's not a bad thing. It's just just how it sounded. It wasn't intentional, but um, it's a happy comparison. Mm. Yeah, it's better than saying you, know, you sound like handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, not really. I kind of embrace every day. I'm, does that sound like I'm afraid of getting old? No, it's just let's have some fun. Yeah. I, I think it's more. It's more. It's more about feeling disenfranchised yeah. than saying it's not my generation. I'm an old man. It's more like uh, uh, whose generation is it? It's a, it's a sort of Yeah, I wanted uh, Joe B to, to do his magic with guitars, you know, he's got a deep kind of understanding, a good lineage, good pedigree, he really, uh, you know, like, I just knew what his studio would be like, I knew there'd be amps, um, you know, old dusty amps that have been loved and all had their own sort of identity. Well, no, yeah, uh, Billy did some on the last sort of three or four, but I mean, I, when I started, I played all the guitars. I wanted to play all the guitars on the album, but there was one really annoying bit I couldn't get in time, and Jovi had to do it. But then, but then I, I, I stayed up all night, nailed it, and went over it again. But then, but then, but then I just fucking gave it to Billy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.